Hey guys, uh, welcome back to another weekly plan with me. I'm realizing that this month's weekly plan with me video is the exact same week of the uh, My Summer Touch Mun Weeklies that I use um, as I did the plan with me of last month. That was a convoluted sentence, but if you check the corner, uh, that'll t show you last month's weekly plan with me video. Uh, I just do one of these a month. And so it's the same like size. Um, every week of the Mun Weeklies is going to be a little bit narrower. And so this is the one that has the little half flap on the side. Uh, same as last month. So long story, kind of, I was going to film this over the weekend. I usually do my weekly setup over the weekend, either Saturday afternoon if I have time or Sunday, Sunday night at the latest so that I can have my week set up for the week, you know, how it goes. Uh, this time I had to do it on Monday for a very silly frivolous reason. Oh my gosh, I placed an order on Etsy like a month ago. I want to say almost five weeks ago that I actually placed the order. I've been wanting to get these to do and something for my um, like weekly video production to do's um, or projects or important or this week or something that said that um, to use as headers. And I've been wanting that for a while. I finally went around, you know, got around to looking up on Etsy, finding the ones I liked and ordering them. Of course, the ones I liked the best were from the shop in Canada, which is fine. I'm thinking, great, Canada's super close to the US. It should ship in no time. It'll be fine. Um, well, first, it didn't ship for like a week because I contacted the shop owner and she said that she had had a loss in the family and that that was what was delaying it, which I totally understand. And that was fine. Um, a week later, they still haven't come. I'm starting to get antsy, you know, and I'm like checking every single day. Uh, my husband suggests that I get the USPS informed delivery. Um, so I got that signed up. I had to like get them to mail me a verification code in the mail. So that took like a week, two weeks in. They're still not there. I'm Googling, how long does it take to get mail from Canada to the US? And something said two to three weeks. Don't worry until four. We're now at like three and a half weeks since it shipped and still no sign of these stickers. Um, I have a note on my planner at four weeks since the ship date um, to inquire of the shop at that point to see what's up. I, there was no tracking information, so all I know is when it shipped and where it shipped from. So I'm not going to give the shop name because I don't want to badmouth her. It's not about that. The stickers are gorgeous. I just really wish I had them. So like three weeks into this whole process, I go, okay, um, I'm just going to get something else. And so I found like the second best thing. They're not as much my favorite, but I've heard a lot of great things about Planner Kate stickers. So these stickers are from Planner Kate. Um, I also got the little um, miniature boxes, which I think uh, are about the same size as the little miniature boxes I got from Twin 16, the ones with the little gold fo like uh, faux glitter bows. I'm not a huge fan of the bows, but I'm a huge fan of the size. So I'm hoping that these would be a good replacement for that um, to use for like events and stuff on these little Mun Weeklies to fit nicely in the little section that uh, that peeks out when they're all folded open. So I don't know if you've noticed, I'm filming this um, voiceover beforehand. So I'm just kind of babbling <laughs> and it has not a lot to do with anything. I feel like uh, my to-dos for the week, I, I haven't had a lot of them lately um, ahead of time. Like things pop up and I'll either add them to my to-do list on my weekly or to my next action items slash context list at the very front of my planner. Um, but mostly my weekly just has uh, the steps needed to complete the videos that I want to create that week. Um, videos for the next week that I want to get a head start on, blog posts that I want to write, podcast episodes that I'm working on, all of that kind of thing. And that's just taking up more and more space every week as I'm trying to get a little bit ahead of things. But I'm also trying to make a point of going through my project pages in the next section of you know, the next divider section of my planner um, and making sure that each of those has um, an actual action item or like task bullet somewhere either on my weekly to-do list or on my next action items or that there's a note somewhere to remind me to check back to that spread every so often. 
Because what good is it to have a project page if you're never going to actually look at it and use it and the project's never going to get done. So that's what I'm trying to focus on. But it, every time I flip through there thinking there's a lot of stuff in here, I find that there's actually not that much stuff in here. And I've already pretty much put the reminders where I need to. So I don't know what to do about that sort of general back of my mind anxiety that there's something I'm missing um, when there's not, like, I I should trust my planner more than I do because I've been in this system basically with minor changes for the last, what, year and a half, something like that. So let me know below if you guys ever feel that kind of weird planner anxiety. It, it would be good to know that I'm not alone. But in any case, thank you guys for listening to me blabber on and watching me decorate my weekly. I hope that you enjoyed this. And go ahead, yeah, like I said, check out last week's. That was linked before. Check out my um, monthly flip through that shows you exactly what I'm talking about when I say next action items list and divider tabs and all that. Um, and then don't forget to subscribe because I post videos twice a week. So I will see you in the next one on Sunday. Until then, have a good day. Bye.